Right now, there's only one way to shoot rivets on an aircraft. So this is just a pneumatic air hammer. Tech Sergeant Justin Betker found himself halfway around the world and needed to use it, but something was missing. I got sent to Guam and I had to do structural repair. I did not have an air compressor there, so I had no way to properly do a repair and they had to send an air compressor all the way to Tinian Island from Guam. So he came up with a solution. This is an SDS rotary hammer. Uh, it's basically a drill, a hammer and a hammer drill all rolled into one. Uh, basically, in the hammer mode, it basically acts just like a pneumatic hammer. And there's another reason why he'd rather use a battery operated one. So I had an uh, air compressor uh, explode in my face. I kind of have like a vendetta against air compressors now. Like it, it shattered my, it broke my jaw and it shattered several of my teeth. So I was pushing real hard to mitigate that with other people so no one else experienced the same thing. His teammates also like his idea and realized this could go far beyond off it. The battery operated hammers already exist. His tool is the adapter to fit our chucks for rivet sets in and that can be locally manned pretty much anywhere there's a flight line where it would be needed by the machine shop. So I created this with a rough sketch and I gave it to our machinists and they actually made it a reality. Not only does this little piece right here make it safer for everyone to do their jobs, it also helps them complete the mission more efficiently. Reporting from the Structural Repair Shop, I'm J.B. Artley for the 55th Wing Public Affairs where the sun never sets on the fight in 55th.